To write the formula for iron 3 hydroxide, we go to the periodic table, we look up iron, and its element symbol is Fe. And then hydroxide, that's something you need to have memorized. The hydroxide ion is OH minus. So we have Fe, which is a metal, and this hydroxide, which is a group of nonmetals. This is an ionic compound, and we need to take the charges into account when we write the formula for aluminum 3 hydroxide. Because it's called iron 3, this Roman numeral 3, that tells us this has an ionic charge of 3 plus. And the hydroxide, that has an ionic charge of 1 minus. 3 plus and 1 minus, they don't add up to 0, so we don't have a net charge of 0, and that's what we need to get for the neutral compound, iron 3 hydroxide. So we can use something called the crisscross method here to do that. We can move the 1 over here and the 3 over here. We don't write the 1 by convention. Let's get rid of this charge stuff. And then we do need to put parentheses around the hydroxide because it's a polyatomic ion. We have three of these hydroxide ions. So this is the formula for iron 3 hydroxide. But let's check our work to make sure. We said iron because of the Roman numeral. That was 3 plus. The hydroxide we said was 1 minus. I have three of these hydroxides. So 3 times 1 minus. That's 3 minus 1 of the irons, that's 3 plus. 3 plus, 3 minus, net charge is 0. We're good. This is the correct formula for iron 3 hydroxide. We'll clean it up. And that's the formula for iron 3 hydroxide, FeOH3. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.